We're absolutely delighted to be here representing Eurocopter. This is an EC-145. We use it for critical care transport at Children's Mercy Hospital in Kansas City, Missouri. We are a dedicated neonatal pediatric transport team. We do critical care and we cover Missouri and Kansas. This will go about 170 mile radius around Kansas City, Missouri. We just do inner facility transports, uh, hospital to hospital or clinic to hospital. A neonate can be a preterm baby up to 30 days of age and then the pediatric population is usually any child that's older than 30 days and younger than 18 years. So basically we have a very wide range from the 28 week, 28 week gestation all the way up to 18 years of age. On our flight crew, it consists of a registered nurse, a respiratory therapist, an EMT, and a pilot. So we're a crew of four, and years and years of experience and training are required, so we wouldn't take anyone fresh out of school. And then once we find these highly trained individuals and highly skilled individuals, then we put them through a very rigorous training process as well to get them ready to go out and do the kind of transports that we do. It's very demanding. We are a 24-hour operation, seven days a week, Christmas, Easter, it doesn't matter. We have to go out, no weekends off, no night times off, but it's very rewarding. I mean, we meet people at the worst time in their life, and at the end of the day, if we have saved a child and we've given a family a second chance, you know you've done something. It is very kid-friendly paint job. We worked with our hospital artist. We asked him what we could do. All of Children's Mercy's hospitals and clinics are very kid-friendly, and this just represents that. It's a continuation of the hospital. In fact, we refer to ourselves as Children's Mercy Hospital, and we're bringing it to our referral centers. And so we want to look like Children's Mercy Hospital when we go out and be easily recognized. And so when, when we do meet the parents and we meet the children, we are very friendly and inviting and welcoming and this aircraft is absolutely amazing. The space inside to work with, the power of it, the speed, the smoothness, and then of course the beautiful paint job. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system, with its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. Well, this is our only helicopter. We also have a Beechcraft King Air 200 um, plane that we use around the country, and then we have eight critical care ambulances for more local runs. All of the people that we hire, with the exception of the pilot, they're all medical people, so they're all hospital trained. They're nurses, they're respiratory therapists, they're EMTs. So we have to teach them the whole aviation uh, portion of this, and that's part of their orientation. We attend very rigorous safety training days, and not only is it through the orientation process, but it is a continuous process that is constantly evolving and getting better. We have a very robust safety program. Safety is number one on our list, and, um, and getting, getting our patients not only the best medical care, but getting them the best medical care and safely to the hospital that we want to get them to. Typically, this aircraft will do between 35 and 40 flights a month. Everything depends on weather, but that's pretty typical for us. We are a transport team that does about 25 to 30 calls a day, and uh, that's in all modes of transport. And the, this aircraft is used for our most critical patients, so whenever you see this aircraft flying, it is because we have the most critical patient on board. If they were less critical, we would possibly go in a ground ambulance. If they're out of the parameter of 170 miles, we'll take our plane, but this aircraft is used for the most critical. This could actually handle two pediatric patients. This is a mobile intensive care unit, and that's kind of how you need to look at it. It can sometimes turn into an operating room. It can sometimes be an emergency room, but pretty much it's a mobile intensive care unit. The size of our children range from fitting into the palm of your hand to full-grown adult size. That requires a lot of different equipment. It requires a lot of training. It requires a lot of space. And you have to have the capability in this aircraft to be able to take care of all kinds of patients. If you own a Cirrus today or if you're considering the purchase of a new or used aircraft, consider this. 
Avidyne, in conjunction with the country's leading Cirrus sales and maintenance facilities, has launched the G3R9 program that combines the purchase of a late model, low time Cirrus aircraft and the addition of the Avidyne Integra Release 9 avionics suite for much less than you may have thought, and certainly much less than purchasing a brand new aircraft. G3R9, combining the best airframe, best engine, and best avionics for the best value. It's very much the team approach. Our pilots are not medical trained, but they learn an awful lot by transporting with us in the, in the medical field. They see a lot, they pick up the lingo, they do assist us from time to time when they're pulled in. They wear the same uniform we do. I mean, they are truly a part of our team. Typically, we require two years of critical care, but that's the minimum requirement to apply. And when I say critical care, I mean pediatric intensive care or neonatal intensive care with significant patient volume. So they can't be a one or two bed PICU or pediatric intensive care unit. Once they have those two years, they are eligible to apply. But most of the nurses that come to us have five or 10 years of experience, and those are kind of even the younger nurses. So much of this work is skill and experience, and experience of former patients that you've taken care of that you can build off of. It's imperative to have that. We don't transport with doctors. We are the doctors sometime. We are the doctor's eyes, their ears, their assessment skills. We give physicians advice, they give us advice. We work together. It's very demanding, but more importantly, it's very rewarding. I absolutely love taking care of children. They can get sick quickly, but they get better quickly, and you can see that. And even though the child will never remember who I am, their parents will remember me forever. When I see a little child at Children's Mercy Hospital run up to me and say, you saved me on your helicopter, and there's no words to describe that. Uh, they'll go on and they'll live a full life, and maybe one day they'll save me.